as many of you guys know, I've been lifting for a few years now. And I actually have a group of guys that I've known since high school that all started working out, out around the same time period. And when you look at their physiques today, there is clearly one or two guys in that group that have a way better physique than the other guys. The other guys have been lifting and their physiques pretty good, but average. There's a few that are a little more polished. They're stronger. I am one of those guys. If you're my friend watching this, let's have a pose down. Okay, but the one thing that, I, and, and this is from years of seeing other people in the gym. This is years of being around people that have been working out for a while. I have seen one thing that separates the average physiques from the really great physiques. And that is that the great physiques max out. Now you may be hearing me say max out and you think to yourself, what does maxing out have to do with anything? And I'll tell you what it means. When you max out, you are figuring out what your capacity is. When you max out, you oftentimes will fail. Okay, now you don't have to max out every day, you don't have to max out every week, but by maxing out and knowing that you push past your comfort zone and you failed, now you have a very clear goal that you can aim for and now you can cater other exercises to hitting that goal. Let me tell you something, we greatly underestimate our power. Seriously, you guys are greatly underestimating yourself, not only in the gym, but outside of the gym also. For instance, I thought that my squat was about 365. Lo and behold, I went up to the squat bar the other day and decided to push myself. And so I got to 365 and I had a spotter and I went down and I came up and I said, well, let's go for 405. On 405, I went down and I did not come up. And my partner hoisted me off the ground. And it was a little embarrassing, but you know what? I was working with a capacity thinking that my max was 365 until I tried the 405. You have to understand where you fail at by teaching yourself, by letting yourself fail. You're saying it's okay. It's okay to fail. The people with the worst physiques, the most average physiques that are never gonna make any progress are the guys in the gym that are doing exactly what they know they can do. They never max out on the big three, deadlift, squat, bench press. They go into the gym, they load up the weight that they know they can do for five times, they never have a spotter, and they never push it to failure. These are the guys that will make no progress. I don't. It blows my mind. Just try it. The worst that's going to happen is the weight doesn't come off the ground. The worst thing that's going to happen, unless you're using a really shitty form, you're going to snap some shit up, is that it's not going to come back up. That's why you have a spotter. That's why you do heavy ass weight. Listen, if you want an average physique, go into the gym, do what's comfortable, do what just gives you a pump, do a bunch of cables, don't ever ask for a spot, never have a workout partner, go in there, follow a plan, and just push it into the point where you know you could get one more, but don't do another one, and then you will have an average physique. It's not that hard. Building muscle in the first place is not that hard. You push your body a little bit and it recovers, you get a little mass. When it comes to the big leagues, when it comes to develop a really aesthetic physique, you have to actually push the shit out of weights, man. It's hard, guys. It's very hard, especially if you're natural. To take your physique to the next level, you have to figure out where you can fail and you have to aim at that. You have to learn your failure point and that's just like life. You gotta know where you fail at and you gotta surpass that eventually. Keep your eyes on that and surpass it. That's the iron philosophy. As always guys, I designed my own workout program for many of you guys that aren't sure where to start or even if you're a little more advanced. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. We have a Facebook group that is designed to 
hold those that are in this new training regimen accountable and hit their goals, crush their plateau. So I'd like to see a lot more of you guys in there. It's called Monk Mode Box. It's an online program. Check it out. I'll leave you a link down below. And thank you for joining me today. And I'll see you soon. Peace.